I'm showing you how to download Meteor Hat Client from Minecraft Java Edition 1.20.4. To download it, you want to head over to their official website, MeteorClient.com, and this is going to be linked down in the description below. Anyways, once you're here, you can scroll down a tiny bit until you find the downloads area. Here, as you can see, we want to click on the latest version for 1.20.4, which at this point is a dev build. If there is if there's also a release over here that says 1.20.4, which right now is not the case, but if it is for you in the future, then, well, I recommend you download that, seeing as dev, dev builds can occasionally be a little buggy. Anyways, we're just going to rock with it and click on this purple download button. As you can see, the download will start in 3, 2, 1, and started. So now as you can see in my downloads, I have the MeteorClient.jar for the version I want. Great. Now before we continue, I'd like to say that if you appreciate me showing this to you, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. And that you need to make sure that you have the fabric loader for 1.20.4 in this case, because that's the version we're installing Meteor for, installed on your device, because you actually need that to be able to run Meteor. Anyways, as you see, I have it right here. And I have a tutorial on how to install it, which will be linked down in the description if you want to. And if you want to, and for the people of you who want it, I actually have a tutorial on how to install it down in the description. Anyways, what you want to do now is press on Windows and R at the same time. And then in this little box that pops up, type in a percentage sign, app, data, and then another percentage sign. Then hit enter or click on OK. And this folder or this folder here is going to open up. Either way, you want to make sure that you're inside of roaming over here. Then somewhere near the top, you should see .minecraft, go into there, and then find a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder here, then I actually also have tutorial on how to fix that down in the description. Anyways, I just have some things here which are for an older Minecraft version, so those are going to bug my game if I actually keep them in there, so I'm going to remove those. And right here we have the meteor client jar, and I'm just going to drag this in there. Perfect. Now that I have the MeteorClient.jar in the mods folder, I can close both of these and just open up the Minecraft launcher. In the Minecraft launcher, once again make sure that you have the fabric loader for 1.20.4 selected. And then click on play. Now playing with the fabric launcher, you'll need to understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft, which I'm sure we all do. Minecraft is now opened up, and once it's opened, as you can see, we're using Fabric, which is great, and we can also see this right here, Meteor, as well as Meteor up here too. If you can see those things, it means that everything has gone to plan. Great, now what I'm going to do is just head into a single player world and quickly show you how to use this. If you want a complete in-depth tutorial on how to use it, then... I will make that. Tell me in the comments below. Anyways, to open up the main menu for this client, you want to press on the right shift. And as you can see, that is going to open up this big menu over here. And these are basically all the utilities that this client has. So as you can see in the search bar over here, you can search for anything you want, as you can see. And um, to enable these specific hacks, you can click on them. Just like that, I am now auto-jumping. And to disable them, you can click on them once again. You can actually also right-click on them, as you can see I just did. And here for this auto-jump one, I can activate it through here as well. And I can also configure some things to my liking. First off, I can actually favorite it, and I can just, you know, configure things that have to do with this hack and that's going to be the same for almost each of these for many of these you can also set a click bind if you want one uh, a key bind sorry um, and for example for what is this enderman look um, I can set the key bind of F meaning that now every time I want to use the enderman look utility I can click on the F key and it'll be either enabled or disabled anyways 
up in the top over here you can actually also find a config for this client as well as configs and customization options as well as settings for the h for the gui and hud anyways that is basically how to use this most of these should be pretty self-explanatory and otherwise you can actually right click on them as i did say and that will also give you a brief description of what the utility does anyways for right now that was that thank you ever so much for watching and i do hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye